Hey everybody, welcome back to Framework Films. Today I'm going to teach you how to use Neat Video 5 for Premiere Pro, and I'll also give kind of a live review as I walk you guys through the tool. Uh, before we jump in, let's play that intro. So what exactly is Neat Video and why would you want to use it? Neat Video is a denoiser. It's a plugin for video editing applications that takes your grainy footage, maybe you shot in a low light environment, and it allows you to select that grain and remove it. It is a denoiser, it removes grain, it cleans up your footage, it makes your footage very neat. So let's dive in. I've opened up this um, Premiere Pro file and I have two clips already loaded in here. Uh, this first clip is going to be from San Francisco and the second clip is going to be from Los Angeles. What I'll do is I'll click and drag this clip onto the timeline, onto the sequence, and now we see that we have a video here. I can hover over it and click on the tilde button and play and you'll see that the clip is a little noisy. So we're just playing through. You'll notice there's a lot of noise up here in the corner. There's a lot of noise along the horizon. Uh, where there's a little bit more light, there is less noise, but that's just the nature of how it all works. After you've installed Neat Video 5, it'll be available in the effects panel of Premiere. And all I'm gonna do is type in Neat Video. And because I have this grainy footage, I know that I can use Neat Video to get rid of that grain, to make that footage look cleaner. So I'll take Neat Video 5 and I'll drag it right on top of the clip in my timeline. So because I'm using two screens, I just moved my sequence over onto this screen and I dragged the Neat Video 5 plugin right on top of the clip. This is over the uh, San Francisco skyline. So when you're using Neat Video 5, what you're actually going to want to do is move your playhead around on that clip until you find a frame that you want to use uh, to feed into the Neat Video plugin for the denoise processing. In this clip, it's really like any of these clips will work. I'll, I'll choose this one. It's a little arbitrary. Something that you want to keep in mind when you're choosing a frame is you want like a solid, consistent patch of color or of shading where the texture of the grain, the texture of the noise is very consistent. Um, in this case, really anywhere in the sky, there are no clouds, it's just a strong gradient. I'll be able to select that specific patch uh, to be able to get rid of the noise. So I've selected this frame and I'm going to scroll over here onto my Reduce Noise version 5, which is Neat Video. And my input frame has already been selected with my playhead and I'll click on Prepare and then I'll click Build and boom. So now we're able to interpret this footage. If you click the auto profile button, it actually usually does a pretty good job in selecting an area that allows you to denoise just right out the gate. Um, it selected this top left area where it has the most consistent coloring and the most prominent um, noise. So now I can click on profile check and immediately you see that everything's cleaned up. I can scroll in with my scroll wheel on my mouse right here, right? And if I scroll all the way in and click on my mouse scroll wheel, I can actually see what it looks like before and after on that one frame, as well as the, uh, the Y enhanced, the CR enhanced, and the CB enhanced. Those are just different uh, modes of viewing on different color channels. So that's, that's already looking pretty clean. And what I love about Neat Video 5 and 4, I've been using it for a couple years now actually, but it just, it, it does a really good job in these auto profiles. It does a really good job cleaning up this image quality without you needing to dive too far into the advanced settings. There are, even in, in this like adjust and preview tab, there are some basic settings that we will go through. But if you need to get a little more in the weeds with it, if you're trying to find how to maximize that one clip a little bit more, you do have a little more control in an advanced panel, panel, which you can see here if we click on advanced mode. That'll be a different tutorial further in the future. Um, so what we can do now is click on adjust and preview. 
and we see that we have a couple different options. We have this preview button, preview off right now. Uh, you see the green, preview on, green is gone. If we click play all, it'll cycle through a couple of these frames so it'll show us what it looks like. And this is a really powerful feature too actually because I can draw a box while it's playing and I can actually see a difference in the grain that this program has taken away and the grain that still remains before. So it shows you what it looks like filter applied versus not applied. And you really see a huge difference inside of this box. Wow, you know, like all that noise is gone and the program did a really excellent job. So I'll deselect and click off of it. It's now the play all is applying to the whole clip. But if I want to add a couple extra features, let's say I'm noticing some flickering, you know, I, I can enable the flicker feature. If there was some dust or scratches on the lens or something like this, actually does a pretty good job removing some flickering, removing some dust and some scratches, depending on the gear that you're using. This particular clip, um, it was only, it was shot with a Mavic, you know, a couple years ago. And yeah. So in the temporal filters, you can adjust the radius. I usually leave it alone because the program's pretty well tweaked at the current level. Um, in spatial, you can do luminance, you can do the noise level. Let's say that the, this clip was even more noisy, right? It's like I can actually bump that up. It's kind of, you know, an over-exaggeration, but you see that you're sacrificing sharpness when you're raising your noise level too much, right? So you can see the difference is subtle, but there's definitely a difference. I usually leave that alone unless I'm really trying to take more noise out. Usually I see that when I'm shooting like an astrophotography, a, a Milky Way time lapse, something like that. You can remove a lot more noise. And something that's really excellent that I normally use on every single drone clip is this little sharpening button. And that way it's like, because the image sensor is smaller on these drones, just because we're flying a camera through the sky, um, sharpening it after you've already applied the denoiser will actually help clean it up a lot. Uh, it'll give you finer details in the edging and um, I'd recommend that you use it. And Neat Video has been really an excellent program um, to clean up all these really noisy drone clips, which has been great. I've also used it for other purposes in time lapses and regular footage off of like a Sony. What else? In general, you just kind of see like, you know, the general frame size and the, the color bit depth, the temporal filter um, information. So it just kind of tells you some metadata about the filter that you're applying. I usually keep it pretty simple where flicker, check, dust and scratches, check. Uh, sometimes if you leave flicker off, you'll actually notice, especially in, in these drone clips, that you'll get kind of like a moire um, like screen flickery kind of view in the sharp lines and overlapping structures of buildings. And this flicker button I found helps cut down on that. There are a couple other methods and techniques you can do to further cut it down. We can get into that uh, uh, during another video at some point in the future, but I found that that flicker button is actually very helpful. So really all we have to do now is click apply and now we can export the clip. Now that we've effectively applied the neat video filter, let's take a look at the before and after just so you understand how this plugin denoised this clip and you can really see how great of a job this plugin does because this clip was not a great clip, not one of my personal favorites until I applied the denoiser on it and then I was like, oh wait, this clip is kind of sick and I really like it. So yeah, I'll play a little side-by-side -side of this video of the San Francisco skyline and then I'll also show you a side-by-side -side clip of that Los Angeles skyline as well.
So thanks a lot for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. We will be cranking out more tutorial content and more uh, drone and time lapse and motion stabilizing. We have so many cool concepts coming up in the pipeline. A lot of cool destinations that I've already been to and recorded. I'm gonna get these videos out the door. We will be putting out more of this content. Thank you so much for hanging out here with Framework Films and we will see you guys next time.